It took several weeks before members of parliament agitating for the recall of parliament raised the number of signatures needed to present the petition to the speaker's office. But today, the minister for presidency, Frank Tumwebaze, alleged that some of the 129 signatures were forgery. We say this with confidence because there are people we know who didn't sign and whom they count among their numbers. They should be prepared and ready to, to come clean on those weird allegations. But the lead petitioner, Hamson Obor, said the process was transparent, quoting some sections in Parliament's rules of procedure. We have complied with the provision of Article 95, Clause 5 of the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda. We have complied with uh, Rule 20 of the Rules of Procedure of Parliament. And if there is any claim to the contrary, I believe that he or she who alleges bears the burden of proof. Meanwhile, the Member of Parliament for Nakaseket South has written to the Speaker of Parliament seeking to withdraw from the petition. He is among the four others whose withdrawal could stall the efforts of the petitioners. By then, our members of Parliament had been detained and uh, arrested and detained for over 48 hours. We thought that thing was not right. But after a while, all those circumstances disappeared. The issue of withdrawal of signature is not provided for in any law. If you signed and at the time you were signing, you were of sound mind, you were in your right senses, that is considered legitimate. Late this evening, the MP for Kole County, Fred Abil, also explained why he is opposed to his name being on the list of the petitioners. I've never signed any petition to recall me when I'm busy with my people in Kole. Forgery of signatures can lead into so many things. Now, as some MPs have come up to allege that their signatures were forged, while others also claim that they have withdrawn their signatures, this now puts the whole situation of the petition in jeopardy. What waits to be seen is what the Speaker will come up with regarding this whole situation. Maurice Chol, NTV, at Parliament.